Welcome. This is Exler. This is new and improved Exler. This is officially now Exler. All that other shit that you've seen from 2020, 2019, fuck it, a month ago. All of that shit, it's that's not Exler. That's some other nigga. That's some that's some weird nigga. This is Exler. Right now, this is fucking Exler. I'm here to talk about stagnation. I know, I'm sorry. Look, we gonna fix everything later. I don't want to be like this with my eyes. You can't even see what the fuck I'm... But, like, right here, I'm just, like, I'm kind of bending over. That's fucking on my back. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? I recently went through my friend's Instagram following list. It's what I expected, of course. It's like hood nigga shit, right? Like hood nigga shit. All his homies do those little poses where they like just standing, like at the, the she shit, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody rocking the fucking skinny ass Amiris, big ass Balenciagas, you know how the shit works, bro. Um, or you know, just other fuck like some thoughts or some shit, you know how it works. Even even like heels following some of the um kids we all grew up with. I don't really fuck with any of them anymore. But he's still following some of them. And I'm looking at the the kids I I was kids with and seeing them grow up and just like run a fucking beauty supply or or do hair i don't want to seem like a pretentious know-it-all who who thinks he's above everyone else why are we doing the same shit in the hood bro like for some of y'all niggas that don't know Dude, on my block alone, there's like five, there's churches right next to corner stores, right next to churches, right next to corner stores, right next to beauty supplies. And it's fucking sad. This shit makes me want to get the fuck out of here. It makes me want to leave. <laughs> I've been wanting to leave, but this really makes me like, I don't want to be with you niggas. I don't want to be stuck with these guys. And that's what looking through my friends following list showed me, bro. It showed me about stagnation, about staying the same. I don't want to grow up and stay here. I don't want to be born and die in this fucking house. Not in this city. I don't even want to be in this country right now. We're only... Bro, you ever get that feeling where you're just, I don't know, doing nothing? And then it just hits that one day you're not going to exist anymore. I stayed up all night playing 2K and fucking around with this new laptop. I was about to go to sleep and it just hit that I'm doing the same thing over and over. Eventually, I'm just gonna have a heart attack or some shit in this bed and that'd be it. That'd be the enemy. It was hurting my head. I couldn't sleep. I beat my dick and then I had a good night's sleep. I distracted myself by doing the same old shit I always do. I just kept on distracting myself with useless media that I'm not gonna remember a fucking month from now. Shit like that pisses me off because I know I can go outside and do something and make memories. You know it was a memory? A few months ago, early like in spring, where I was going to the park every day, bro. Meeting niggas, going down ramps and shit, having the time of my fucking life. Meeting friends, them teaching me shit, me teaching them shit. That was a fucking moment. You know what's not? Me sitting in this fucking room, playing 2K in Rainbow Six Siege, beating my dick, going to sleep, waking up, doing it all fucking over again. I don't even want to exercise anymore. I love working out. I don't even want to do that anymore. I'm not using it for anything. What am I doing? Yes, it's cool to be healthy, but it doesn't make me, it makes me happy for a short while, but it never makes me worthwhile happy to where I can peacefully just die. There have been moments this year where I was so happy. I was just like, God, take me now. I just want to die because 
this is amazing. I want to die peacefully. I haven't felt that since maybe the start of summer. And I was doing so good. I know what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. I'm always going on fucking tangents. That's not what this video is about. This video is about stagnation and staying the same. Like I said, with the niggas in the hood, they're still the same. All the people I grew up with, they're, they're staying the same. They're doing the same shit. They're doing the shit I expected them to do. They grew up in the hood and now they're staying in the fucking hood, doing hood shit, not contributing anything very much impactful to anything it like what is another beauty supply gonna do what is another corner store gonna do that's what i'm saying i hate that shit that stagnation pisses me off and it goes into fashion look but i i definitely have been on the tote bag boy trend for all of 2020 and now i just now wanted to stop that shit because everybody's doing it and I don't like it anymore because everybody's doing it. Yes, call me a, I don't know what the word is, but I don't like doing things that everyone else is doing. I don't like shit that's, I like shit that's popular. But when it comes to fashion specifically, I want to be so different from all the other niggas. I'm looking into high fashion now. You know, Yoji Yamamoto, Undercover, CCP, A Cold Wall. I'm looking into that shit, but I don't have the money for it. This tote bag boy trend right now is pissing me off i shouldn't even call it the tote bag boy trend i should call it exactly what it is the cargo pants dunks and vintage graphic t-shirt trend literally exact that's what it is because everybody on tiktok is doing it that's the fucking trend everyone is doing it dude my Insta like i clean my instagram now but my instagram was filled with that shit one day i just looked through it and was like this shit is ass everybody looks the same and when everyone is super, no one is. Why would you want to wear this if everyone else is wearing it? And then, and then, guess what happened? It's boring now. It's a mid fit. It's, it's cool. But it was cool when there was only a few niggas doing it. Because then it was different. Now everybody has dunks. Everybody has cargos or car hard double knees. Everybody has flannels button-ups behind a um, vintage graphic t-shirt i just be hating it's just what it's just with stagnation bro like perfect example kanye kanye is one of my favorite people ever um top three in music and top two in fashion and number one everything else just like just like motivation bro inspiration and look what he did with donda not even donda just look at his first five albums and tell me that shit wasn't different he didn't stagnate he would have stagnated if he made a late registration part two and then he made graduation he graduated from that shit a whole new sound all those scents all those samples it was a graduation it was an explosion of creativity and then dark fantasy dark fantasy a grandiose hip-hop album something we've never seen before in 2010 he added all of these different instruments all these horns nigga created a symphony of sounds and rapped over it he made a story he created a fucking film for this shit he, there, there was a tiktok where the, the, he said that um dark fantasy perfectly explains the rise and fall of Kanye okay I just wanted to get a cool shot in there um so it's hours later I don't know how long it's been but I had to do some shit and I'm about to go eat so I tried to make this short apparently I talked for 17 minutes <laughs> um okay so look what was I talking about Kanye he changes up a lot that's what i like about kanye that's what i want to do i want every fucking month every, every season every year to be a completely different version of me a completely different persona completely different person i want to be doing all new things this year it was skating last year it was work and trying to figure out what the fuck life is all about i was on my meditation and shit 
you know what I'm saying? Um, and also drugs next year. I don't know what I want it to be yet. I have three months to decide. Let me figure it out. But I, I, I just don't want to stagnate. I don't want to stay the same because if I stay the same one day, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be 50 and I'm going to be doing the same shit I've always been doing. And I don't want that. I'm so glad I took a break from 2K after I bought it every year for the past fucking five years. I'm so glad I took a break from Call of Duty after I bought that shit. I was buying that shit since Black Ops 2. I'm, I'm so glad that I like changing. I'm so glad that I'm, I'm done being a, a, a tote bag boy. And now I want to wear high fashion, but I don't have the money. So I'm probably just going to be wearing the wackiest shit in my closet and wear all of that shit out. All the shit I don't want and wear that shit out. Not give a fuck. And eventually I'll make money from this. That's what 2021 is going to be. 2021 is going to be excellent. It's going to be this shit right here. What I'm doing It's going to be awesome. At least I hope it is because, you know, if it's not... I'm going to kill myself. Excellent.